Hello everyone. Welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell, so you won't be left out in any video. The JG Zuma Foundation has made public the letter that was what stopped Zuma yesterday. The JG Zuma Foundation has issued an apology to the media for former President Jacob Zuma's absence, which was caused by complications with his parole, and a legal letter from the DA The JG Zuma Foundation has issued an apology to members of the media in response to the fact that former President Jacob Zuma was not present at the press briefing held yesterday, which took place on Saturday, June 25th. Dear members of the media, we regret to inform you that His Excellency President Jacob Zuma was unable to attend due to parole difficulties. We are grateful to have such a large turnout, a portion of the message stated. Also, read this, Jacob Zuma did not show up for the press conference that he summoned to answer to the state capture report. As you can see from the letter that is attached, the district attorney was getting ready to pounce. Following that tweet was one that stated, We applaud advocate Darlene Pofu and his legal team for sound advice Jacob Zuma's absence influenced by legal letter. In the letter, which was addressed to Mr. M.S. Sabakil, the acting national commissioner at the Department of Correctional Services, the attorney raised concerns about the terms of Zuma's medical parole. The third question in the letter reads as follows, Mr. Zuma is on medical peril. According to the terms of his parole, he is not permitted to leave the Nkandla Magisterial District in the KwaZulu-Natal Province, unless previous arrangements have been made. In point 4, the letter requested, on behalf of the client, DA, to certify whether or not the Bakil granted permission to leave his magisterial area in order to attend the news conference. In that case, he was required to explain both the grounds for granting such permission as well as the conditions, if any, that were relevant to the situation. It is desired that a response be provided by Wednesday, June 29th. Again, in the past few weeks, South Africans have been overwhelmed with breaking news frequently. Things started when the Fall of Fall of Farmgate scandal broke out in public. It did not take a lot of time, when citizens were still busy assessing the Farmgate scandal, when the news that the kingpins of the state capture in South Africa were apprehended in Dubai. The Gupta brothers are the close allies of Jacob Zuma, and they are accused of state capture. While Jacob Zuma was the head of the state most people did not believe that the Gupta brothers were arrested, and they accused the SA media and the president of wanting to divert their attention from the fall of fall of farm scandal. Till to date, the Guptas were not extradited from where they were alleged to be arrested. Things do not add up in the eyes of South Africans, since the motive of arresting the Gupta brothers is to bring them back to South Africa, to be questioned about the state capture. It has been alleged that the Guptas are not happy with the South African government by announcing their false arrest in the media. It has been alleged that they are planning on laying charges against the South African government for their false accusation. This is interesting since the public is waiting for confirmations of the Gupta arrest. There has been no picture of them in the police custody, but only news that they have been arrested. It is hard indeed to believe if their arrest has been fabricated and whether this was the intention of the president to divert the attention of the public from the fall of fall of farm gate. A lot needs to be assessed in this